हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इस एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड वीसीवीएस यूनिटी गेन सेकंड ऑर्डर लोपस फिल्टर व्हिच इज आल्सो नोन एज सैलन की यूनिटी गेन फिल्टर इफ वी से वीसीवीएस व्हिच इज नथिंग बट वोल्टेज कंट्रोल्ड वोल्टेज सोर्स सो हियर इनपुट विल बी वोल्टेज एंड आउटपुट विल आल्सो बी वोल्टेज that's why it is known as voltage controlled voltage source so if we say unity gain the overall gain of this filter will be 1 so gain of the filter will be equal to 1 that's why it is known as unity gain second order filter in the previous lecture we understood about first order filter here you need to remember that the first order filter consists of one resistor and one capacitor and the second order filter consists of two resistor and two capacitors so to design the first order filter we need one resistor and one capacitor and to design the second order filter we need two resistors and two capacitors as you can see in this diagram so at the filter part we are having two resistors as well as two capacitor and one amplifier which is an op amp that's why this type of filter is known as a second order filter so if we say low pass filter we know that the reactance of a capacitor is inversely proportional to frequency so for a low frequency reactance of the capacitor will be high and for high frequency the reactance of the capacitor will be low so the capacitor will act as open circuit for low frequencies and it will act as closed circuit for high frequencies that's why for a low pass filter first a resistor is connected and then a capacitor will be connected so that for a low frequencies the capacitor will act as open circuit that's why all the low frequencies will pass to the amplifier stage and for high frequency capacitor will act as short circuit and high frequencies can pass through the capacitor towards the ground that's why in this case all the low frequencies will pass to the amplifier and high frequency will pass to the ground only low frequencies will be available for amplification that's why in the circuit we are connecting resistor first then a capacitor so that a resistor can pass all the low frequency and a capacitor can pass all the high frequencies towards the ground these vcvs low pass filter circuit can be designed or implemented by using three approximations first one is butterworth approximation or butterworth filter second one is bessel approximation or bessel filter and third one is chebyshev approximation or chebyshev filter also you can observe that in the circuit both the resistor will have same values but two capacitors will be having different values so the capacitor c2 will be part of feedback circuit as i have told you for low incoming frequency capacitor will act as open circuit and all the low frequencies will pass to the amplifier stage for amplification and for high frequency capacitor will act as short circuit hence all the high frequencies will pass through the capacitor towards the ground this circuit will act as unity feedback because we are not connecting any resistor in the feedback circuit and this op amp is acting as an voltage follower the quality factor of this circuit can be given as q is equal to 0.5 square root of c2 divided by c1 the pole frequency can be given as fp is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi r square root of c1 into c2 the pole frequency is a special frequency that is used in designing the active filters so you need to remember this is a kind of frequency that is used to design an active filter we can design the cut off frequency of the circuit by taking the formula fc is equal to kc into fp here fp is the pole frequency and kc is the constant for a butterworth filter quality factor will be equal to 0.707 and kc will be equal to 1 and for bessel filter 
quality factor will be equal to 0 0.577 and KC will be equal to 0 0.786. So these values you need to remember. So if they ask to design a Butterworth filter, you need to take quality factor as 0 0.707 and KC as 1 and you need to find pole frequency using this formula. And if they ask you to find the Bessel filter, you can use this quality factor value and KC value and you can find the pole frequency using FP and you can find the cutoff frequency for Bessel filter. This is about VCVS unity gain second order low pass filter. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.